AKR. What will you do when they catch you? What will you do if they break you? If you continue to fight, Plus, what's going on? My name is Akasan. What's up, Super Cruise? DC Sun, how you guys doing? And happy here holidays. we are. Yeah, happy holidays. Merry Christmas and a go- Grogu seasonal New Year situation. or something. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. BBY. Um, yeah. So, you get world's finest today representing our Disney extraordinaire. <laughs> um, nice outfits. shirt. Yeah. Nice shirt. Yeah, it's the warmest thing I got in the house, but it's actually good timing because, oh yeah, we got Star Wars right there. Uh, yeah. It's just good timing because we had a smorgasbord of releases today from like both Marvel and gracious. Star Wars. Oh my God. And yeah. on top of that, it was the video game award. So I've just been sitting here editing. Oh, that's right. All uh. night. Yeah, it was insane. That explains what I missed because like, I feel like I'm missing some. I feel like I missed yep. some. That's what it was. You know, there someone put up a thumbnail of video game awards, and I honestly just blazed over it because I thought it was, um, you know, clickbait. Right. But today, man, I don't it was, know it was what terrible timing that it was all running like uh, as long as it did. That was crazy. Like, yeah, while I was watching the video game awards. How how long was it? Total what five hours? The the uh, Disney investor meeting. Yeah, it was yeah, about five hours. Because five hours. Because the video game awards started when the Star Wars thing was still halfway through, and yeah. then, um, then I just assumed these people were telling me Marvel was next. But two hours later, I'm like, wait, Marvel's still going right now? Right, right. So, like, because that, usually it's yeah. like, okay, get get one out the way, and move on to the other. Yeah. But it's but, it wasn't know, that it, fast paced today. It's all good. I got I got the uh, aggregated version of it, and um, <laughs> mm. it, it, and it, it, like I, you know, it's an investors meeting, so it, right. it's fine. Like we, I'm, I still appreciate the fact that they had all the stuff lined up for us uh-huh. on, on the on the oh, Disney, yeah. on the um, Marvel side. Mm. I'm sure that's something we could uh, definitely have a conversation about on a later date. But yes. on the Star Wars side, oh uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, real quick, what are your thoughts on uh, the fact that they're going to be doing an Andor uh, spinoff here? Um, it, uh, mixed. Yeah, I'm I'm happy because I'd like to see some more of what they'll do if it's shot in the same vein as Rogue One because I did like yeah. that that yes. film style. I like that movie; it was good. The yeah. when they changed the ending at the last minute, I hated that. But okay, whatever. Um, seeing how they incorporated into the rest of the lore from his point of view will be interesting. The part yeah. that's not interesting is, well, you no matter what happens, yeah. it won't it, yeah. it won't really be, you know, a surprise because I kind of know how he bought it. Correct. Um, correct, correct, correct. But that said, because they're trying to make it on the same production um, level as a feature film, I am very interested in seeing what they do with it. It's, and just it's other very characters. supplemental, yeah. It's very like I I agree with you on that one hundred percent. I feel it's it's supplemental material. It, yeah. You know, uh, at this moment, unlike Marvel, and I know some people are gonna get a little concerned with this, uh, what I'm about to say, but unlike be all right. Marvel, unlike they they're gonna have to be, um, unlike Marvel, I do feel like Star Wars hasn't reached that point of excess sort of stuff uh, like 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 oversaturation yeah oversaturation of stuff like um and, and like i know people are already getting triggered at that point because you know mm-hmm. even with the idea of like the bad batch it's yeah. like okay are we still dealing with order 66 are we still dealing with the clone mm-hmm. wars error but i feel like there's still with star wars there's still so much you can kind of pick apart whereas i feel with marvel it's to the point where it, it ended well with me it ended at a certain chapter that it's going to be very hard for me to get reinterested because that what what's happening with 
Marvel is that they're actually in some form of way reigniting the fandom, reintroducing the fandom, reintroducing getting another generation exactly. into it. Exactly. Kind of they're thing. starting a whole nother generation. Whereas Star Wars, I still feel like they're still picking different points where there's so much room that hasn't been covered yet. Like what happens yep. the 20 years in between uh the original trilogy and the new trilogy, the sequel trilogy. Uh the 20 to 30 year yeah, exactly. Um, jump. Well, yeah, exactly. around that I just time. said that because that's um, partially what we're going through now with the Mandalorian. Right, right exactly. So, uh, but that so still many... leaves like twenty-five years. Correct. So and there's so many like time point. There's points and times where you still can deep dive into things. Yep. And on top of that, there's still a very, very anticipated uh, time part of Star Wars that I. I'm surprised we didn't hear anything about, uh, as far as I know, was the Knights of the High Republic and uh, uh, the Knights of the Old Republic. Old Republic, sorry, yeah. <laughs> the High Republic. So. Well, well, that's okay because you're basically taking know, yeah. the the new show. I actually forgot the title of it, but it's a uh, High Council or something like there that. You go. Okay, that yeah, yeah, and yeah. Old Republic, and I see why they meld together because yeah. imagery wise, time period wise, for a casual, they seem similar. Okay, got it, got so, it. Got fair it. enough. Um, they're not the same. Um, okay. So, you know, no okay. need to get triggered out there, people. But <laughs> they are um, similar to someone who doesn't know that lore. Okay, so they did announce answer. something that, that something's yes. in production. Okay. Yeah, so basically I, I what was supposed to happen part, yeah. this yeah. year was the comic book series coming out. Right, right. Got pushed I remember that, And yeah. of the same title. And apparently they're supposed to be doing an animated series or animated feature um dealing with that along with the okay. books and so on and so forth okay but what surprised you the most about their announcement as far as star wars goes uh your your top say your top two if if you have one if you don't it's okay but if you do what are your top two or three i wouldn't <laughs> say necessarily surprise but a welcome announcement was the fact that hayden christensen uh mm. is coming back reprising his role as i'm gonna say darth early Spader. early yeah early <laughs> early darth vader uh yeah. um in the ob series and hopefully yep. we'll be able to get some sort of like flashbacks uh mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. terms of like so i you know i don't really want to see like chris just this dude come back just to be freaking robot frankenstein dude because you know he'll just be under the thing but what i would like to see is uh, occasionally some sort of flashbacks that obi might have of the time before order 66 so Six. we still see young anakin or something like right. that like there's so many things that they could do with that and on top mm. of that on top of that you know at the point where i'm at with star wars rebels um uh, or a little bit past that Oh, okay, Maybe. I was gonna say you finished Rebels? No, no, we're, I'm on season three right now, halfway okay. through. Um, I got right to the point of um, uh, the different Mandalorians right now, and Darth Maul showing uh -huh. up, um, and um, Death Watch. Uh, no, Sabine. Well, Death. Maybe not. Uh, Sabine taking the uh dark saber so uh -huh. oh, um okay. from um the night sisters are the ghost of the night the dead ass night sisters yeah. whatever um so i'm right at that point um but what i was going to say was the cool thing about that obi series is the fact that you know maybe ahsoka can pop up in there a little bit and i'm we can have a cool few... glad you're thinking that way because i'm thinking we... the same thing we could have a few flat we could have a few moments of star wars rebels where ahsoka uh, or you know fuck it even this, cl clone wars clone yeah. wars to rebels yeah that were i mean technically i mean this was kind of a given but ahsoka was also ahsoka her own show was uh, announced and uh, this kind of um yep. this kind of certifies getting back to the point with the mandalorian this kind of certifies mm. in my thought process of how season two of the mandalorian really is was meant to be and i've said this a, early a on. soft pilot pilot for other characters yeah it's it's a bridge it's kind of gonna, yeah. gonna be this our overarching bridge season mm. which personally story-wise i don't know if i really like in terms of mm. focusing on mandalore I'm, I'm, I'm the mandalorian but at the same time mm. i understand that it might need to be that necessary sort of thing you know looking mm. back to arrow season three or yeah season three was almost treated With the flash. same way yeah. as opening room for the flash legends of tomorrow right 
thing. So it, it like um it, it needed to open up so many more things. So you know I understand. I was like, hmm. I just want this season to be that only season, and then let's and get he, back. His story yeah. goes on to his own let's path, get kind of thing. Streamlined again here. Um, I do feel like it, yeah. when they did this, um, yeah, for fans because they hinted about Bubba Fett and all that kind of stuff. That was their way of, um, you know, fan service, but also giving people what they wanted to see with Bubba Fett's character because unless you read the comic books um, you wouldn't even know just how you know deadly or cool or adaptive that character is because you don't have any source material other than the movies which don't really do his character justice um, there's that facet the other thing is you know the way they introduce Ahsoka in here yeah it did feel like a soft pilot for her character <laughs> <laughs> and it was somewhat on the nose and you know that's good because like okay i see what you're doing but i also look at it as they used it to see what the fans reaction would be uh, because because yeah. a lot of a lot of projects you know they get a green light but before that actual green light fan reaction that's where you get all these secret secret leaks and stuff like that they want to see how people react to it because if people's reaction is too negative because they want some of that negativity because it's still creative. And it's yeah, like, I well, agree. you didn't believe us, but now this is what we have. And now you love it. I.e. the Cara Dune sort of like, you know, months yes. and months ago, already they were talking about having a, Carl, a Cara Dune spinoff. But, yeah. you know, say what you will about the actress or whatever. Like, yeah. I definitely have seen opinions shifting on whether or not people were really feeling like a spinoff but in ahsoka like i remember the leak about like oh they're thinking about doing a ahsoka spinoff people were like yep. dude they should they that they should have yeah. been doing that already yeah because well, just I like boba fett about, yeah. those yeah. two characters you know there's a list of characters but these two specifically did not get their day in the sun and you know uh some people like well ahsoka was all over clone wars clone da, 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 right. but Rebels, yeah her story didn't really get completed the way it needed to be interesting so here's a uh, question okay yeah. so uh, no, what, no, uh, what I, uh, no i want to ask you about is mm -hmm. um between the two episodes uh which mm -hmm. one did you actually like more i'm talking about the Ahsoka from a story day. standpoint or an action Ahsoka standpoint <laughs> no, from a fan standpoint and the Ahsoka mm -hmm. dedicated episode or the return of boba fett because mm. for me personally, obviously Ahsoka, I, yeah. you know, I'm just not one of those dudes that I have ever been up on uh, Boba, Boba at Fett. all. Yeah. Like, like I like Django and I like the the story of Django, right. but I've never been down with the original uh, mm. trilogy, and I've never understood what the hype is about. I I thought it was cool, and right. I think Robert Rodriguez did a great job uh, mm. with him. But for me, there was. It was I was more connected with the Ahsoka episode. Um, JJ loved loved the, yeah. yeah. I think for you, one reason why you pulled more towards Ahsoka is because you're also watching yeah. Rebels oh, and things, yeah. and it's still very fresh. So yeah, you're still kind of dove into that side of the universe, that pocket of it. And I think that's cool. And I like I liked the Ahsoka um episode for many reasons, personal and just I like that character. I've met the creator. He's a really nice person. And just the way they brought her to life. And I, I love Rosario Dawson. I mean, I mean, I've always liked oh, her character. Are. And the way she the way she takes her characters and portrays them, I like it because she picks things that are completely uh different from each other, but she makes them special. I mean, all so actors do, but just the way you? she did. But I also like the the Boba <laughs> Fett episode because it was like watching Desperado in Star Wars. I could see that. I, you know what? I never. Oh my because, god! Because because if you look at the Desperado movie, Robert Rodriguez, yeah, and when yep. um, uh, Antonio yep. Banderas jumps off yep. and he lands on the car with his yep. leg cocked to the side and he's shooting, who's that? Yeah, Finnick. I'm like, oh, that's I that scene. Even... Of course, many people do it, but yep. it's like that's Robert Rodriguez. It's kind of like his signature thing. I liked it because Boba Fett actually did something other than stand in the background or fly the ship. Um, so to see his character in action. <laughs> so which episode did you prefer more? Which one did you like more? 
<laughs> I'm that's hard. Spot. It, it's it's yeah because it's it's a little fifty fifty split because the the little things that I would have been like uh about with Ahsoka is because we live in Japan. So right, I see that. I, I like it. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I liked it, but I wanted to see more of her. Right. Not. But I also get why they Japan. didn't do yeah. it because it's a slow burn. So that's fine. Okay. Boba Fett jacking some people up uh, i'll say I'll, okay i'll do this aesthetics and the way it worked i liked the ahsoka episode okay but i, I <sighs> all right 